Hey everybody and welcome back to Coffee with the Moms. It's Nicole today um, and I just wanted to show you this really yummy recipe that I found on Pinterest. I can't remember who it was by. If I find it again I will link it down below but it's fairly simple. Um, it says in their recipe that you only need four ingredients. I added one of my own in here. Um, so just so you know, so this is a very easy, quick thing, very inexpensive to make. Um, I think this is great for a weekend breakfast or if you want to make it um, on like a Sunday and then like have it throughout the week as something to like change it up as a quick, easy thing to just warm up, eat it real quick and go. If you have like kids that are in school and you want them to eat a little bit something more than like an apple or whatever. Um, before they get to school or before they leave the house. So the first um, things that you're going to need is like a larger size mixing bowl and you're going to need eggs and you're going to need this recipe called for six eggs and that's exactly what I used. So um, we'll get right into that and show you how the rest of it's made. So after I put my six eggs in, I added um, heavy cream and I used about a tiny one. I used half of it and then I added salt and pepper into that and I whisked that up. And you can actually do this part the day before if you'd like. Um, I just bought the regular pound of sausage in the frozen section, unthawed it, and then I actually made this the night prior to um, making this dish in the morning. So this is something nice too that you don't have to do all at once. So I cooked that, put it in the fridge. Then I got my 9 by 13 pan out and I sprayed it very good with Pam or you could use butter if you want, whatever you use um, for that. And then you just take um, the a thing of crescent rolls, um, a regular size one, you just put it in there. I got the honey one, the honey flavored ones. It was really good. So I just pressed it all out. I tried to get most of the creases out, but it'll just pop up anyways. But that I was just showing you that. And then after that, I put on... I put on my already pre-cooked sausage on top of the crescent rolls. And then after that, I poured in my mixture of the eggs and heavy cream and the salt and pepper. And then I put on cheddar cheese. And if you would like, you could do a mixture of mozzarella cheese and cheddar cheese. That's totally completely up to you. So, but I just like it, the recipe called for cheddar cheese. I like cheddar cheese. Um, but again, you can mix mozzarella and cheddar if you'd like. And you put it in for 35 minutes about at about 350, 400 degrees. I had to cook mine a little bit longer. The way that you tell this dish is done is if it is completely like hardened in the middle. If you pull it out and in the middle or anywhere else you see it's still liquidy, not done. You got to put it back in the oven. So I did have to put it in for a little bit of extra time, but I just wanted to let you guys know that so you're not, not cooking it fully. All right, so, and that was it. It was really yummy. I actually made this for Easter for breakfast. It was a really quick, easy thing because we were going to eat a lot that day. But this can be used on any weekend, any morning if you'd like. I just think it's great for a quick weekend type of dinner. But, um, yeah, that was just a really quick food um, video for you guys because I haven't done one in a little bit, so I thought I'd put one in there for you. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Um, hope it's nice and sunny where you are. Uh, I just wanted to also say thank you. We have 500 subscribers over the weekend. We hit holy moly. That is awesome. Me and Lisa just wanted to say thank you. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all we can keep saying. Um, we love it. We love um, having conversations with you guys down in the comments below. So please don't forget to do that comment if you want to chit chat with us. We are pretty much always looking at that type of stuff. So definitely do that. We also like when you guys have nice conversations in there. Um, but yeah, it's very great. Um, you know, if you guys have ideas, put them down below. We love it. Um, and if you like these videos, these yummy food videos, which I'm pretty sure you guys do, um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not yet. What are you waiting for, right? We put videos out pretty much five days a week, sometimes six, sometimes seven, just depends on the mood we're in. But again, have a great rest of your day. Enjoy. Um, and if you guys make this, um, come back in the comments below and let me know how it turned out for you guys. Um, let me know if you guys found any new tricks. Also, I did want to add too, if you've made it through this part of the video, you don't have to use sausage. You could use bacon. You could use ham. You could mix different meats in there. So 
feel free. This is a very great recipe to kind of throw in. You could even do veggies if you don't eat meat. You could put tons of veggies in here. Um, green peppers, red peppers, onions. Um, oh my God, broccoli. I mean, this could be something really yummy too. Um, but I just wanted to make it like this because I love sausage. I very rarely eat it. So again, but have a great day. Enjoy. And don't forget to please like and subscribe. And if you'd like, leave a comment below. Bye, guys.